Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Last time we have discussed about the uh, moment transfer, this time we will complete the dialectic transfer uh, com and dialectic transfer as I stated earlier is a nothing but combination of two moment transfer and let us go and work out the corresponding problem. So, we have one initial orbit here. and this is the final orbit. Initially, the satellite is located at A, this is the center of attraction. Then to get into this orbit, sometimes if you look energy wise, so another kind of manipulation may be better and this we represent as. So, this is your transfer orbit, we write here semi major of axis of this as A, to, uh, let us write this as A 1 or A T 1 transfer orbit. Then to get into this orbit, we apply another impulse. So, this is also the Hohmann transfer. Hohmann transfer, and this is also Hohmann transfer. So, first impulse is applied at A, the next impulse will be applied at B, and the last impulse will be applied at C. So, here this is delta V A delta V B and here in this point delta V C direction is not fixed. Okay delta V c the in the opposite direction, but we show it like this. So, working principle is the same as we have done for the human transfer nothing different. Okay. So, delta V a, so I write in short because already I have worked out all the details. So, here in short I will write. 2 mu by an initial radius is obviously this is r i and this radius is r f. Why the name is bielliptic? Because you have the first ellipse half of that and the second ellipse half of that. Okay. So, 2 by mu r i minus 1 by a t 1. minus mu by r i, this is the velocity in the circular orbit, this is velocity in the elliptical orbit at a. So, this is the impulse required and from here mu by r i we take it as common. So, this gets reduced to 2 by 2 minus 1 by a t, a t 1 under root minus 1. we have written as V i c. So, we will follow that notation V i c or uh, let us write as V a c to make it more convenient rather than writing r i 
this is a and here v notation will be using a small a b and c. So, v a c velocity at a in the circular orbit or v a c equal to nothing but your v i c. Or maybe it will let us forget this v i c, write this as the v i c. This times 2 minus 1 by a t 1. So, what is the semi major axis of the this orbit? So, this will depend on the r i and this r b. Okay. So, this we can write as 2 minus 1 by r i plus r b divided by 2 in this whole under root minus 1. Okay, R i we have taken uh, outside, so we we should also put here R i here in this place. So this part is missing. Uh, R i and here two R i. So two R i means uh, we get here two R b divided by two uh, R b, two R i i cancels out. So two R b divided by R i plus R b under root minus one. Two times n star divided by one plus n star under root minus one. What we have done here? So we have two R B by R I plus R B is there. So we have divided numerator and denominator by R I. So R B by R I and this is this gets one plus R B by R i. So, we get here 2 n star 1 plus n star where n star we have written as R b by R i. So, here we can name this as equation 1 v i c 2 n star divided by 1 plus n star minus 1. Okay. Now, the impulse required at B. So, this is very easy part only thing the concept you have to understand it is not more than 12 plus mathematics, okay. but the in actual practice once you apply it. Of, uh, there the uh, you are considering transfer from one planet to another planet. So, the case gets complex because of the presence of the planet the sphere of influence is there. So, you are not taking the just such a point. So, first we will do one problem using just a um, point mass of uh, considering one asteroid uh, which is uh, a massive asteroid, but uh, it is just like a point. So, that the problem gets easy to work out okay. and uh, there we neglect the sphere of influence okay, and based on that then we work. So, I will come to all those points. Uh, so, due course of I, if I solve some problems we will get to know all the concepts. So, impulse required at B this will be equal to so delta V B. So, velocity at point b in the second elliptic orbit 1 by mu times 1 by uh, see here 
we are giving this impulse. So, delta v b are we are looking for. So, what is the velocity initially at this point and what is the velocity finally at this point. So, this orbit is different this is a t 2 it is a semi major axis. So, this is the semi major axis of first transfer orbit of first transfer orbit and this is semi major axis of the second transfer orbit. So, we use the same equation as we have done here used here this part to mu by r i r i gets replaced by r v. Okay. So, after providing the impulse this is going in the second orbit. So, a now it has been thrown into the second orbit a t 2 and minus 2 mu by r v the radius has not changed before impulse this is related to a t 1. And then we need to simplify it a t 1 we know this quantity is r i plus r b divided by 2 and a t 2 is r b plus r f divided by 2 uh, as it is evident from this figure. This is your r b from here to here and this is r f. So, half of that this constitutes semi major axis of this orbit. Okay, similarly, we have to calculate for this orbit. So, we can use these two quantities here and insert here in this place. So, this we get as mu, we can take it outside and this becomes 2 divided by r b minus 1 a t 2 is r b plus r f divided by 2. So, 2 comes in the numerator times. Now, here the way this is appearing. So, what we do? Uh, see r i is in nowhere the r i is manifest. So, um, so, accordingly we have to divide it and write it in a proper way. Okay. So, n star is the quantity we have de defined as r b by r i. Okay. And the quantity n we have defined as r f by r i. These are the only two distances which we are concerned with. This from here to here this is your r b from this place to this place. And this distance from here to here this turns out to be r f and the distance from here to here this is your r i. Okay, so, we need to rewrite this little bit. 
so that uh, it gets into a proper format. So, first we will write here in this place try to accommodate here. Okay, we div divide the numerator and denominator by R i. So, this is 2 R f by R i and R b by R i this gets and here R b plus R f is there. So, we have to do it in a proper way. So, what we will do that we will write here R i and R b by R i plus R f by R i in this under root minus R i is present here. So, we can rewrite this as 2 divided by R b by R i Okay, so, this gets reduced in the form to R f by R i this is R f. So, 2 n divided by R b by R i is n star okay. and then R b by R i here this becomes n plus n star R f by R i is uh, R b by R i is n star and the R f by R i is n. So, I should reverse it. So, this is n star plus n ok and the r i is also there r i and then minus and this is square root is also present then a square root 2 divided by r b by r i is n. n star ok then r i and times 1 plus n star and here uh, once we have taken this mu under root so mu is going without uh, under root sign I have written. So, this is the correction here. So, mu under root once we take it outside r i. So, this is mu by r i under root and then 2 n divided by n star times n star plus n under root minus 2 divided by n star 1 plus n more compactly this can be written as delta v b equal to mu y r i is now nothing but v i c and uh, if we take 2 y n star outside so this gets reduced to n divided by n star plus n under root minus 1 by 1 plus n star under root. So, this is equation 1 we have written in terms of V i c this is we have written in terms of V i c again and this is equation 2. Now, you will see the advantage of writing in this way once you solve the problems. So, your effort in the calculation this gets reduced ok. Even if you have to do computer programming, so there also it is a very convenient. So, this is delta v and uh, this should not be understood as the point c, this is circular orbit or standing for circular orbit.
Okay. The last point is the C. At C, once the satellite reaches here in this orbit by coasting throughout from this place to this place, so at this point impulse is required. So, impulse uh, here energy is higher in which one? You will see that uh, as we have written the energy E prime equal to minus mu by 2 a. So, the semi major axis for the this pink orbit the A T 2 okay, this is larger than R f okay, and therefore, energy in this orbit will be more as it is evident from this place minus mu by 2 a. Okay, we go on the next page and uh, then we explore this. See E equal to minus mu by 2 a once we are writing. Okay, so, if it is circular orbit, so A gets replaced by R. So, in that case this is mu by 2 r e prime. So, at the point c this is the energy in the orbit while and this we can write as r c or we have written as the r f. Okay. So, e prime r f in the circular orbit and e prime at c in the elliptic orbit this is C C we can write here circular orbit and this is in the elliptic orbit. So, this is minus mu by 2 R f plus R b. So, R b if it is much larger than R f. So, you can see that or say if, uh, R b is greater than R f. So, you can calculate what will be the energy. This is valid for both the elliptic and uh, the circular orbit. Why? Because I prime equal to v a square by 2 e prime equal to v a square by 2 minus mu by r and v in the circular orbit is mu by r under root. So, this gets mu by r minus mu by r and once you subtract it. So, you immediately you can check that this quantity will be mu by r can be taken common 1 by 2 minus 1. So, this is minus mu by 2 r. So, this is in the circular orbit. So, this is that this result is valid for both the circular orbit and the elliptic orbit provided you properly insert the value for the v. So, here in the circular orbit this is the energy and the elliptic orbit this is the energy. So, that means you need to reduce the velocity at this point. So, velocity the actual velocity after coming from this place to this place that will be in the elliptical orbit v e at c v in the elliptic orbit at c or v e f whatever we want to write. Okay. And then one impulse needs to be applied here in this direction. I have shown here in this direction uh, which is customary to show it like this, but this will be the opposite one. Okay. So, you have to basically apply impulse here in this direction delta v c. So, that the velocity is reduced and the this orbit is circularized. Okay. So, following uh, this notation whatever we have done earlier. So, same notation we can work for the uh, impulse required at C. So, delta V C the impulse required So, final velocity in the velocity in the at point C in the elliptic orbit. So, mu 2 mu by r okay, for this we need to r f we have used here notation at this point. So, from here to here let us see this point to this point this distance we have to take. Okay, so, 2 mu by r f minus mu by a t 2. Okay. This under root this is the velocity at point c in the transfer orbit minus 
velocity in the circular orbit at point 2 and that will be mu by r f. A t 2 is nothing but r f plus r b divided by 2. So, this goes in the numerator or mu 1 under root we take here and this is 2 r f plus 2 r b minus 2 r f divided by We divide numerator and denominator by r i, this gets reduced to 2 r b by r i, r f by r i and then multiply here by r i and similarly write here r f by r i plus r b by r i on the root minus 1 by to R b by R i we have written as n star and R f by R i as n. Uh, and R i we can take it outside from both the places. And if we take under root n here from this place, this gets reduced to 2 n star n plus n star under root minus 1 and this is nothing but your quantity v f in circular orbit. Uh, this circular orbit the c v notation we have used this I wanted to avoid because uh, v a v i c. rather than using uh, or properly tag it. Uh, v f c uh, I will write here, so that uh, you do not get confused. So, this is v f c 2 n star 
n plus n star under root minus 1. V i c is the velocity at a in the circular orbit. This is very important to note because the notation I have used these two have got mixed up velocity at a in the circular orbit and v f c is the velocity at c in the circular orbit. So, this c stands for circular orbit. this stands for circular orbit. So, we do not have to confuse this. Or either uh, just indicating V i and a V f and we can delete the c, this is the only way we can do. So, this c either I drop everywhere then uh, we do not confuse with this point c or either I rename this point c. Uh, these are the two options of doing this. So, a b c notation. Yeah, I am leaving it as it is uh, V i c indicating by clarification given by these two statements. Okay. Maybe in your uh, once you note it, so at that time you can make it d instead of c. So, that uh, we do not confuse with the circular orbit c and the point c. Okay. Now, we have got uh, one more thing we have to check here we have subtracted from here in this place this is the in the velocity in the elliptic orbit and this is velocity in the circular orbit which is the final orbit we have not sub subtracted from the final orbit velocity the elliptic orbit velocity and we need to check that indeed this quantity turns out to be positive uh, this is important to check otherwise you have to take the magnitude of this quantity so delta vc delta v c equal to uh, v f c and then 2 n star divided by n plus n star. We rewrite it in this way. So, what we can see from this place n by n star is less than 1, okay, and therefore the denominator will be less than 2. So, n by n star plus 1 this will be less than 2, and therefore this quantity will be greater than 1. So, this quantity is greater than 1, and from there if you subtract 1, so this quantity delta Vc turns out to be greater than 0. And now, you can add all of them delta V equal to delta V A plus delta V B plus delta V C. So, this is the impulse total impulse required. Limiting case. limiting case in a star which is reflecting the intermediate orbit tends to infinity. If that happens then your delta v c this gets reduced to you we can check from this place this under root 2 minus 1 times v i c 
divided by root n. Okay. Similarly, delta v b will get reduced to delta v b. We have worked out here. Uh, here, this is as n star tends to infinity. So you can see that this quantity will tend to zero. This quantity will become zero. Other quantities accordingly, we can write here. If this is in the denominator n star, so simply this will tend to infinity uh, 0, this also goes to 0. So, we get here delta v equal to 0, delta v b this quantity will be 0 and delta v a. Delta v a we have calculated here, if n star tends to 0, so in that case this is delta v a, we put n divide by n star in the numerator denominator. So, this gets reduced to 2 1 divided by n star plus 1 under root minus 1 times v i c. So, n star tends to infinity this gets reduced to 2 minus root 2 minus 1. So, this is root 2 minus 1 times v i c. Therefore, total impulse required delta v c equal to root 2 minus 1 v f c plus root 2 minus 1 times v i c or either both of them writing in the same v i c then in that case this will appear as 1 plus 1 by mm, 1 plus 1 by root n times v i c del total delta v delta v total. Okay, so, this conclusion what we have drawn here uh, this is important what we can see that at delta v, at b we do not require any impulse. Okay. At C we require impulse and at A we require impulse. Why? Because uh, this is very evident that uh, your uh, E prime this equal to minus mu by 2 A as A tends to infinity. So, E prime this becomes equal to 0. Okay. A tends to infinity this quantity is 0. So, approaching from the orbit at B okay, and then again starting from this place. So, here the total energy is 0. And therefore, starting also and approaching also both the energies are 0. So, there is no change in the velocity, okay, because the position is not changing here. Okay. If position is not changing means potential energy is not changing which in this case here mu by r this equal to also 0 with minus sign here. So, there is no change in velocity here and therefore, at b we do not require any impulse and this is what is we obtain from this equation. So, at delta at a and b only thing that we need to give the impulse. Okay, so, using this technique if you have to send the uh, object in the parabolic orbit you can work it out uh, this the satellite you have to send in the parabolic orbit or either multiple orbits different kinds of orbits can also be mixed up and what is the simplicity that you have to use this equation v a square or v equal to mu times 2 by r minus 1 by a. which we have earlier derived as this v y integral. Okay, so, by this uh, we have finished the bioleptic transfer. Now, it comes to whether the bioleptic transfer is beneficial or the home end transfer is beneficial which one should be used. So, it is a very simple here to see that in the bioleptic transfer 
because it is a going in a larger orbit. So, the amount of travel the time uh, time to travel from A to B from this point to this point and then again from B to C it will be much larger if we directly go from the inner orbit to say uh, from this place from here if I directly go to this point. So, this time will be much smaller okay, immediately I can achieve in this and if I have to come to this. So, only this half of this time extra is required. So, you require here the extra time to travel to this point and again extra time to travel along this uh, along this one. Okay. So, uh, in the bioelectric transfer it may be better than the human transfer in terms of energy consumed okay. and it depends on the condition which we need to look into, okay. but the time of travel it drastically increases and therefore, this can be uh, this kind of orbit can be used if and only if you are not worried about the time. If you are worried about the time where the time is mandatory to be maintained. So, at that time we have to res resort to the human transfer or either even if you have you require the faster in least time you have to do. So, you have to go for some other orbit okay. the shortest will be the uh, straight line going from uh, one point to another point with infinite velocity, but this is not practical you cannot get infinite velocity okay. and therefore, the shortest possible time you get always in the hyperbolic orbit. Okay. Next it goes in the parabolic orbit and then the elliptic orbit. So, accordingly we choose our orbit and we, it will also de depend on the you know, automatically you will be forced to use that kind of uh, uh, configuration say in the here in this case as we were discussing earlier that if one satellite is at A okay, another satellite is at B and you have to catch satellite A okay. uh, you have to catch satellite B and so you have to dock satellite A with B and that is to be done at point C. Okay. So, in that case you have to send it in a faster orbit. So, mostly once you calculate this faster orbit it will turn out to be a hyperbolic orbit okay. so, this we need to work out. Okay, so, I will do this problem also related to this uh, it will come in the uh, rendezvous problem. So, uh, one change I am going to do that the 12th week lecture I will shift to the 11th week this is the 10th week we are running with okay. and uh, 11th week lecture I will shift to the 12th week. So, that some continuity is maintained uh, I have got the feedback that uh, the lectures are becoming very lengthy and uh, we do not have enough time to study. Okay. So, in one week sometimes uh, for perhaps for third or fourth week the 7.5 hours uh, uh, has been covered instead of 2.5 hours what should have been. Okay. So, students are not able to give that much of time, but uh, getting into the concept. Okay. We uh, once I need to explain all these things, so I, it, that takes time. Okay. So writing few uh, equations or just I uh, bring uh, the slides and present the equations, so it can be very fast. Okay, I can finish in short time, but uh, if I try the concepts properly and once I write it, so the concepts get developed properly. If I don't write one by one, so if you, you will not know from where what is coming as usually is done in the book few equations are given and then the chapter is closed. So, I have derived all the equations sequentially uh, and uh, it is a required for your proper understanding and even if you want to use for professional purpose all these things can be used. So, we close this lecture here and we will continue in the next, next lecture thank you very much.